Okay, folks, we have learned previously some tips and tricks using Google Chrome as a browser. So I thought it only fair that today we're going to learn a couple tricks using our uh, Microsoft Edge browsers. And the Edge browsers is the default browser on Windows 10. So I am in the Edge browser. I actually have a tab up here. And we are going to bring up, and I'm just doing it for a simple recipe. I have... I use spelt a lot, which is a type of flour, and I made these chocolate chip cookies the other day, and I've, I've been told that, that they're really, really good chocolate chip cookies, and that makes me very happy. I want to be able to keep the recipe, and if there are slight changes or modifications that I make to the recipe, I would like to take this off of the website, so I'm just this is just a basic web page, and here's my recipe down here. With the ingredients and the instructions and I would like to mark it up a little bit maybe add some notes add a highlight uh, drop some information in here basically that is called annotating and you can annotate with your mouse you can annotate if you have a touch screen device you can use your finger on your screen to do it or if you have like a drawing tablet you can annotate with that but again, we are in the Microsoft Edge browsers, and what I'm going to do is up here on the right-hand side, I've got some icons. So I go to the website that I want, then this icon that says make a web note. Make a web note. It looks like a little pencil inside of a box. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to jump me to a screen where I have some annotation tools. Now in my annotation tools, the first tool I have is a pen. And I can drop that down and I can pick the pen color. Now I really like red. So let's say I want to do red and I can change the size of the pen, the tip of the pen. I went for the very smallest. And I decide that I want to make sure that I remember to preheat the oven to 325 degrees. So I'm going to underline or click my pen. There we go. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to underline 325 degrees. I want to make sure that I get that. I can even draw like a little star beside that. Don't forget to preheat the oven. I always forget to preheat the oven. So do this first. In fact, I can even write a 1 ST. Now this is a little tricky because I'm using my mouse. I don't have my tablet connected right now. Okay, so do this first. Um, with my annotations, I have a highlighter. So I can click on my highlighter, and again, I have different color tools and different sizes for that. I like yellow. And I'm going to come down, and the butter. I want to make sure that with my butter, that I know it's a stick and that it, it is softened. And softening the butter is pretty important. So I'm going to go back to my pen and maybe choose a blue and say, um, I'm going to draw a little arrow here. Um, Soften, sorry about this folks, soften in microwave. Now if you will bear with me, I am going to just abbreviate with mic. Soften in mic, you know, um, and make yourself a little bit of a note there. And something else uh, as far as the eggs, and this is... a. I don't, I don't really do this, but if I want to take and add a note, that would be this tool. And I'm going to kind of come and drop this note here and say, um, let, well, actually, let's, let's move this. I'm going to delete that and try this again. Let's, let's put this note more up here. Um, make sure eggs, whoops, uh, warm up to room temperature. Now again, I don't really do that when I make this recipe, but this note can be um, just kind of put in here and I can go back to annotating and maybe draw a line down here to eggs. Okay, if I want to. But you can see there's all different ways of annotating. If I decide that I, I know, I can soften that in the mic and I want to take my eraser and come up here and erase that, I can get rid of, of, of that annotation. Okay, so here we have our, our recipe with some annotations in it. And the last button that I have is a set of scissors with a square around it where I can clip this. 
So I'm going to click on clip and I'm going to kind of just drag around everything that I want to keep, which is the re whoops, the recipe, the instructions. I don't need all the pictures and all the gobbledygook because a lot of times when you go to print from a web page, you get all the advertisements and the comments and everything. And, and really all I want is just the recipe. So after I get done drawing that box around it, it said copied, I'm going to go over to Microsoft Word to a blank page and I'm just going to paste that in. So it pasted it in my Word with the picture, the annotations that I have, the highlights, even my underlining that says do this first. Um, I just really like this feature that you can take a web page, any web page, I'm going to hit exit here. I can save these changes, and I think I may do another tip and trick with this later, but I can save these changes to my favorites, I can save them to OneNote, and I can save them to my reader, but those are all separate tools that require a little bit more um, information, so we'll just kind of, again, we'll, we'll talk about saving those later, but there, you know, just find a web page, uh, take it into annotate mode, draw up your, your annotations using your tools, take and clip that, move that over to a Microsoft Word document without all the advertisements and all the extra stuff that you don't want, and print it out. Have fun with that.